Hi, this is Grand Grandpa of Photography, just bringing you some more tips and tricks about photographing at Burning Man. And I want to talk about RAW versus JPEG. Yes, RAW gives you a greater bit depth so you can manipulate an image, particularly in, in darks and in highlights, to be able to get a better image and pull back some of those bl blown out areas, whether they be light or whether they be dark. But for a lot of images during the day, you, you really don't need it. The other thing is, RAW takes up a lot more space on memory cards. If you have an economy of memory cards, you may want to think about, okay, during the day while I'm just walking around and it's not a very challenging photographically, there's not a lot of light and dark, it's a regular daytime scene. Think about maybe I don't have enough cards, I'm going to make images in JPEG. And to give you an idea of the difference between these RAW and JPEG, I made two images simultaneously on my camera the other day of Gregory G4 Scott. Check him out. He's an awesome fire performer. And particularly on video, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between these two. These are straight out of camera, no adjustments, no nothing. And even bringing them up to 100% side by side, I can tell where there's going to be a difference. And if I look very hard, I can see it. But if I subtract these two images in Photoshop, it gives me a better idea, and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, by wherever it's not black, is there was a difference between the RAW and the JPEG. And it's all those fine little details, particularly in the flame, and particularly in the deep shadows, where I can push and pull that image a little bit more because there's more actual information in the file. And that will help me make better images. Anyway, Hope this helped. As always, drop me a comment. Ask any questions you like. I want to be open book. Catch me up on Instagram, Grandpa Photography, and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers.